What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I am the Brick Scavenger. It has been a long time since we did a mail time. I honestly haven't spent that much time or money on whatnot recently, both as sort of a seller and a buyer. Just been preoccupied with some other stuff, and the market's been down a little bit, so I'm trying to be patient. But I have been supporting some of my friends and occasionally spot a good deal. So guess what? It's mail time! All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna push these packages off to the side. Whoops, I'm gonna throw some on the ground apparently too. But that'll give us some room to show you some of the things that we've found. Let's start right here, find out who this one's from. Again, if you've never done a mail time with me before, most of this is coming from Whatnot. This one is coming from T and Lego Dude during his Disney Palooza. Let's see what we've got here. I opened these boxes or just ripped them open enough just to kind of be able to not use a knife on camera so I don't cut my finger off on camera. But here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I got to get on camera here. Here we go. Tian Lego Dude wrapped these tightly. If you're not following Tian Lego Dude on whatnot, you should be. Good seller. Good dude. Lots of fun. Hey, there's a clean Lotso. Nice. I feel like more commonly I found the, uh, the dirty Lotso. So that's a good one to find right there. Let's see what else Disney we've got here. Oh, this does not look very Disney-y, but look at this. This was going to go nicely with my new project. Look at this. Ooh, nice. Going to have an army of horses with barding. Let's put it sideways so you can see how good that thing looks. Clips are intact. Love it. And let's see, is this Disney or is this not Disney? Let's see. Now, what is this guy? Oh, no, this is uh, so TM Lego Dude. He builds some of his own stuff and then kind of sells it, you know, with mixed parts. So this looks like a Star Wars fig. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what that is. Um, some kind of Sith trooper, maybe, something like that. Uh, and then an Atlantis head, a dark red cape. That's a super fun fig. I guess he needs a spear. Let's give him a spear before we continue. He's also supposed to have a blaster. Look at that guy. That's fun. Fun little mock right there. Love it. All right. Thank you, TN Lego, dude. Let's go. Let's see what else we've got here. This one is from Cultured by Cultured. Culture runs a fun Build-A-Fig show where you get to mix and match your torsos and your legs and your heads and build your own figs. And uh, it's a super good time. Let's see what I built this time. Looks like a ooh, looks like a forest woman that's kind of a nasty, wizardy type girl. Look at this girl. Oh, I remember building this one. It's been so long since I did a mail time. Some of these are going to be really old. But look at this kind of uh, wizard slash forestman mage right here. She's a baddie. I'm already digging on this one. Look at this one. Yeah. Oh, love that. That's going straight into Forestman's Highway for my new project. That's a beauty. Look at that, uh, that like headband. That thing's awesome. Oh, one of my favorites I've ever built for sure on Cultured Show. If you guys are interested in being a part of Whatnot Community, follow the link in my description. Uh, it is super fun. Great community of people. Lots of fun Lego products for sale. You can even hang out and not buy a thing. And that's fine too. This is from Mrs. Road right here. Oh, I think I built a Christmas fig with Mrs. Road. How cute is this little elf? Look at this. We went with like an all red elf and then went with a couple of accessories. Candy cane. This is another Build-A-Fig show. And this rabbit, how cute is this right here? Look at this. Look at that. How cute is that for a Christmas village? Absolutely adorable. Thank you, Mrs. Road, for always making your shows so much fun. Love that fig right there. All right, let's see what we've got next. This is from Cultured by Cultured again. Honestly, one of the reasons I shop less on whatnot now is, first of all, I don't sell as much. So I just don't have as much like disposable income to throw around on whatnot. But also, because I've been doing this long enough, I've kind of had most of the figs. Wow, this one is wrapped really tight. I've had most of the figs. And so, you know, going on and, and paying kind of full price for Superman or Spider-Man or whatever just doesn't make a lot of sense for me anymore because I've got all those things in my collection, some of them 10 times over. But the Build-A-Fig shows are totally different because I get to mix and match parts and just be creative and have fun. So that's a partly why you're going to see a lot of Mrs. Road and cultured stuff. Look at these two little forestman girls. Oh my goodness. How cute are these two girls right here? I totally forgot that. I think if I remember right, cultured was running a Christmassy type show and I bid and kind of converted mine 
into Christmassy kid elves. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what he meant to do with his show. But that's the beauty of Build a Fig. You can absolutely twist and turn all you want and build them however you want. So these two cuties right here are little forestman kids. And they I've got their letters for Santa ready to go. How cute are these two girls? Oh my gosh. <laughs> love them. Absolutely love those two cuties right there. Let's continue on. Here we go. Let's see. What's this one? How do you even open this one? Oh, here we go. Making a mess as usual off screen. Just oh boy, this box is not getting reused. Sorry if it's an earthquake on camera. All right, here we go. Let's see what else we've got. That's just trash. Who's this one from? Another Mrs. Road. Mrs. Road has been running very regular Build a Fig shows, and, and uh, so I've been supporting her a lot. Oh, yeah. She did not intend to do Build a Forestman either, but guess what I did? Absolutely converted it into Build a Forestman again. And look at this baddie right here. Hard to believe that she can be running a Build a Christmas Fig show, and I can find a way to build something that looks like this. But look at this right here. Holy cow, look at that hair piece. She's got the arm tats. Wow, she's a she's a beast, focus. She's a beast right there. And what I did was I wanted to build a second one because shipping was already paid for. So I built her daughter. Her daughter is a uh, wannabe beast. So she's got her cute purple bow, but you know, she's still a kid. So she's got her teddy bear. Let's get the teddy bear in her arms. And so one day, one day she's going to be a fierce warrior. But for now, the daughter of the fierce warrior, how cute are these two? Once again, I know if you've been a long timer on my show, you know I promote being creative with Lego. Neither one of these figs were released by Lego like this. But man, if you mix and match parts, you can really make some fun stuff. So I highly recommend you give that a try with parts that you already have at home. It's a cheap and fun way to use Lego in a different way and get to be creative. Let's see what we've got now. This one is from Cultured. Apparently I've been doing a lot of shopping with Cultured and Mrs. Rowan. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, these guys are killing me with this bubble wrap tape. Holy cow. I don't want to cut a uh, cape or anything in case there's a cape in here. But mercy, is it hard to open? Oh, yeah. So this was another... I think this was actually build a Christmas fig or build an elf show. And I did not build Forest Min on this one. But what I did do was build a old retired elf. <laughs> Just once again, being creative, spinning it off. Look at this old retired elf right here. He's got his, oh, he's got his walker. That's the walker. Cultured threw that in because we were being goofy. So the old retired elf, he's got his pizza. He's got his uh, pipe. He's got his walker. So he was once a vibrant elf, but now old, retired, and just wants to hang out and be grumpy. And one of the reasons that he is grumpy is because his granddaughter just doesn't seem to get what it means to be an elf. She's a rebel. Here's the, here's the granddaughter, the rebellious elf. She's got her Christmas attire on, but she has, she has dyed her hair. She wants to ride her skateboard and play her guitar. It makes the old grandpa elf very cranky that she has not followed in the family footsteps of being an elf, but so be it. Times have changed in Elfland. There they are. Love those two. Too cute. All right, let's continue. What else we got here? Let's see. This one is from, once again, Mrs. Road. Like I said, oh, <laughs> you know what this is? This is uh, two things that I asked Mrs. Road to save me when I bought them on her show one time. And then, uh, I guess there's nothing else in there. I did she ship these separate? Maybe she shipped these separately. But anyway, I bought these and then wanted her to save them so I could use them on Build-A-Fig shows, and then I forgot about them. So kind soul that she is sent those to me. Thank you, Mrs. Road, for shipping those on my way. Uh, I will use them at some point in a Halloween display. This one is going to be from... Uh, Who's this from? Captain Redbeard. Let's go. I have no idea what this is. I don't have the foggiest idea what this is but 
Let's continue on. I don't remember what he was doing. Maybe a Star Wars show? Let's see. Oh, I think this was a Star... Yeah, he was running a Star Wars show. I have no idea where he got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, but he was doing a Star Wars show, and some of these were good deals. And so uh, I added to my collection with some ones that I don't have yet. I do not have this one. I can't remember her name, but she's like the mechanic from uh, Mando. So uh, that one gets added straight to the collection. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, maybe this was Build-A-Fig. Maybe this was, was it Build-A-Fig? I'm getting confused. Look at how cute this guy is, though. I think maybe this was Build-A-Fig. And uh, I built this. Oh, I'm getting confused. Maybe this is from Mrs. Road? Oh, I don't know. Now I'm lost. I, I, I'm so confused. Anyway, this is like Dapper. Yeah, this is from Mrs. Road. This is Dapper Santa. He's all dressed up, ready to party. He's off duty and ready to enjoy himself. Maybe that's on uh, a couple days before Christmas, or maybe he just waits until uh, after Christmas to enjoy his his parties. Here's a Kashyyyk. Nice. This is from, uh, again, from Captain Redbeard. Adding to the Kashyyyk army. He was nice enough to toss in these legs, which I will absolutely use. Good guy, that Captain Redbeard. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, I paid up a little bit for this one. I think I still got a pretty good deal on it. But this was not like, you know, five bucks. Look at that right there. Yeah, my mama. That one, I don't, I think I already have. So this is either getting added to the army or uh, maybe we'll get resold someday. But I'm going to hold that one for a while. We'll see if that thing goes up in value, maybe after retirement, something like that. And then what else did I get? Looks like, <laughs> I think I bought this one. I think, I think he was trying to sell this one and nobody seemed to want to buy it. And so to bribe people into buying it, he's like, if anybody buys this, I'll throw in a black cape. And so then being goofy, I just bought the, bought the thing to get the black cape. Black capes, especially in good condition, are hard to find. So once shipping is paid for, a couple bucks to get a Luke and a cape, no big deal. I'll go for it. All right, let's see what this one is now. Oh, there's a lot going on in this one. I think this one's from my friend Pew Pew. Let's see. Yeah, Pew Pew Bricks. Let's go. Whoa. There's a lot going on here. Okay, Pew Pew. Let's see. What did we get from Pew Pew? I don't even remember. Oh, we got... Uh, he was running, I think, a Star Wars show, or maybe it was a mixed show. I can't remember now. Like I said, it's been a while since I bought some of this stuff. It's just been sitting here waiting for it to collect enough to justify a mail time. There's a boba. Nice. Can't complain about a boba. It's got that sand green jetpack. Always fun to add mandos to the collection. How about this one? Let's see. Ooh, a Sabine. Let's go. How about a Sabine Wren? She has got a blaster and a lightsaber, that purple hair. This is the one that's supposed to come with that dark red helmet that is so bananas expensive. Uh, obviously, that one doesn't come with the, with the helmet, but I also didn't pay, you know, helmet money, so that's fine. No big deal. That Sabine is still super cool. All right, let's see. What else do we got here? I got a clone. Man, I'm kind of a sucker. Once I pay for the shipping, this guy's hand is with the blast. Oh, you can't even see that. Hand is with the blaster. There we go. Uh, I'm kind of a sucker that once I've paid for my shipping, we have a cracked arm. We'll replace that. That's no big deal. Um, once I've paid for my shipping, I like to uh, kind of go a little nuts and you know make that justify that shipping charge of, you know, four bucks or whatever it is. I think I bought this as just like a random lot of parts from him. It was going for pretty cheap. So we got, uh, this is the old 501st legs and I think the old 501st torso. The torso, oh, I remember now. The torso was cracked. He told me that. But it was tossed in with some other stuff. So whatever. I feel like Star Wars parts are always useful to get. Some of these may get resold. Some of these will end up on BrickLink. Got ourselves a pearl dark gray jetpack. That's always nice. Can't complain about uh, some Death Watch Mando torso there. And we got a helmet. I can never remember all the First Order uh, helmets, but that one's got that gray kind of bar on it. So helmets, Star Wars helmets are always a good deal. Always worth getting. People are always looking for Star Wars helmets. And one more, let's see what else do we get. Pew pew. Well, I got this one specifically because of the comma. This one right here is a fine fig. You know, nothing super tremendous about it or whatever. The, um, the pauldron on the bottom is, is yellowed and frayed. So that's just going to get thrown away. 
no big deal. But this red one right here, I love having commas like this for either to put onto BrickLink or, you know, have them for custom figs or whatever. So couldn't complain. Got it for cheap. Snag that comma. Always a good time to have cloth pieces. And one more. This one's huge back here. All right, we'll move this off to the side for just a second. I think this one's from Mrs. Road, and I think I know why this one is so huge. Yeah. I took advantage of some shipping to scoop up this cute uh, elf set. She had this on, what I thought was a pretty good deal. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. But Winter Village is always fun. Lots of good white parts in here. Some Christmas trees. A couple of elves, including that red hat. Little squirrel. This one is going to get put away probably till next year. And then we'll decide what to do with it. But couldn't resist scooping up a sealed Christmas limited edition uh, set. So that's awesome. I'll put this back here. I think there's some other stuff in here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have just, I wouldn't have just bought that. And so uh, once the shipping was, you know, mostly paid for, that's when I decided to jump on that set. But let's see what this is. This I don't think was Build-A-Fig. I think this was... Uh, just, you know, a fig show that she was running, and I was getting pretty good deals on some stuff. So these Christmas fairies are fairly common to find. I think this is Series 23, but I am holding on for dear life for all these candy canes. Someday we're going to have a bunch of candy canes for some fun project. Not exactly sure what. Monkey King. That is a good minifig from the CMF line. I can't remember what series that one is, but that's a pretty good one. All the parts are there. Uh, that I don't know if I'll resell that one. I probably will. But uh, that's a good one right there as well. And then, oh, man, did I ever score on this. Look at this. Such a good fig. Let's get it built up. I can't remember what series this one is. But if you're not familiar with the uh, this specific CMF, this is the dog walker or dog sitter or something. She's super cute. She's uh, She's got her overalls. She's got her dog paw hat and ponytail. And she's got her green shovel. All of that's fine. Like nothing, you know, super crazy awesome about the fig itself. But look what it comes with. Are you kidding me? Two dogs, including a wiener dog. Holy cow, how many CMFs are going to have two amazing dog molds in them? So this dog sitter had two dogs come with her. And just for a little, uh, you know, classic Lego humor, a couple of uh, cupcake toppers, which very clearly are not supposed to be cupcake toppers for the dog sitter. That's why she's got her shovel. Absolutely love it. So what a score, I feel like. We got that elf set. And then look at all these fun figs. Sabine's in there. Kashyyyk is in there. Some super fun mocks. I think my favorite, uh, my favorites are the are the homemade ones. We've got the uh, the warrior forest woman. We've got oh yeah, we've got her daughter. Let's get her daughter. We've got her whoops, we lost the uh, the purple bow, but we've got the warrior's daughter. We've got the super cute little elf with the red torso. We've got the pair of forest kids ready to send their letters to Santa. We've got the grumpy elf. We have got the elf's, the grumpy elf's granddaughter, the rebellious child that she is. And, of course, we have the uh, the mage. Let's see if I can get her out carefully. The mage right here. Man, does she look fierce or what? She's got that black cape, black hood. Ooh, she's a meanie right there. Love it. Love it. Good mail time today, guys. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. My name is Brick Scavenger. We'll see you next time on our show. Enjoy.